everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be filming a week in my life I think so I'm gonna keep this going for the next few days today is Monday I'm heading to uni today I got up at like 8 30 this morning you know did my makeup had my breakfast all that good stuff I'm not really a morning person so I don't get up super early but I'm more of like an evening person so I work later. Anyway, I'm going to head to uni right now. I'm going to quickly show you what I'm wearing because why not? That'll make this video a bit more interesting. So this jumper is from a brand called like Chicle? Chicle? Don't know. I'll write it in the description and like a link so if you want to check it out you can check it out. Then, so that's what the jumper looks like. Then I've got these jeans on which are from Topshop and then my trousers, my trousers? My shoes are from Fashion Nova and then jewellery wise I do have my necklaces on which are underneath. They're just always on, I never take them off. And then, <laughs> and then for earrings I've got these ones which are like dangly and they've got little like stones at the bottom. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. That is my outfit. Gonna head to uni and do a lot of dissertation work today. Let me know if you guys are interested in like dissertation vlogs. I know that most of you will not be at that kind of stage in your life. I know that probably you're either at uni, you're at school, you might not actually be in the exact specific position that you're doing a dissertation right now, but let me know if you want, you know, um, uni related vlogs. Maybe like once a month or something. Let me know. Anyway, I'm gonna head to uni. I hope you enjoy this video. What ended up being a nice day has ended up being disgusting, but I've been inside all day so I haven't really been affected by the weather. Just while I'm walking home. I'm now heading home. I've had a super productive day. I think this has been my most productive day of the semester so far. I'm just eventually starting to actually get into my course. That's the worst part of university is just kind of, the, not the lack of support, but like how individual everything is and how you have to kind of make your own way through everything. And I'm starting to eventually get a start. So I'm gonna head home now and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm nearly home, but um, I think my umbrella's kind of died. Hey everyone, I'm back from uni now. I have had my dinner with my parents because I live at home now. And as you can see, I have got changed. I'm wearing this hoodie, which is from Nike. Just put on gym leggings and trainers. It's probably the most unflattering way to show you. And then also I've got like a pink sports bra on, which is from Gymshark. I haven't told you where I'm going. Tonight I'm going to go climbing. So I started climbing when I was down in London. It was part of like the company activity. You could go climbing with your like work colleagues and I really enjoyed it so I now continue that now that I'm back in Edinburgh. So that's what I'm doing on a Monday night just to kind of clear my mind after doing a long day's work at university. There's also a gym, a, like a mini gym at the climbing wall. It's really not that big at all but I'm gonna see what there is and just kind of make use and do like a mini workout as well at the end. So just something to release energy. But yeah, I'm gonna go can you see my outfit? Look at this. Oh, this is confusing. So yeah, just tie my hair up, put on my jumper, sports bra. Ta-da! Cool! gym behind me and I'm just going to try and make the most of it. There's not much there but like I think with a bit of creativity
done rock climbing, bleh, rock climbing's done as well. I don't know if you caught, like, it heard me in the gym, but like, just didn't really have the most productive rock climbing session. And then I was quite knackered, and also I kind of, I fell whilst I was climbing, which is natural, but like, I kind of, my elbow kind of like got a bit pulled. It's like I pulled like a muscle or something in it. So when I was doing, you know, like squats and deadlifts, it was like, just not as effective because my arm was not feeling its best. So the sign that I've been, I'm glad I've been, I've been there for like a solid hour and a half. Good exercise, at least I've done something. So I'm not gonna go home because it's a little bit dark and cold. Oh. <laughs> Hi. I just got home and I'm knackered. I'm gonna go for a shower because I'm really sweaty and then I'm basically just gonna go to bed. No, I'm gonna watch Shane Dawson's part two of the uh, Jake Paul series because it's so good. I love Shane Dawson. So that's what I'm gonna do. Shower, Shane Dawson, bed. Good morning everyone. Today is Tuesday. I'm heading into uni today. I have two lectures this morning, both two hours long, and then I'm actually meeting my friend for lunch. So today is pretty busy. I'm not gonna have a lot of time to do um, like individual uni work, but I am going to try and fit a little bit in at least. I'm just doing my makeup. I don't have a lot of time, not gonna lie. I'm not running late, I just don't have time to spare, so that's why I'm like probably looking like I'm rushing. So I've just done my makeup and I'm about to leave. I thought I would just quickly show you guys my outfit since I did that yesterday. So let's get my mirror. So my top is from Shein, I think. Then, whoop. Then my belt is from I Saw It First, my jeans are from Topshop, and my shoes are the same ones from yesterday, which are from Fashion Nova. So that is my outfit. Just finished my two classes for the day. I'm now just heading to meet my friend for lunch. We're going to Sign Bar, so if you're from Edinburgh, you might know where Sign Bar is, but it's actually my first time going, and the food looks really good. So I'm heading to meet her. I know her from um, when I used to work at Sainsbury's. So I've not seen her in ages, so I'm really excited to see her. I'm lugging my yoga mat around with me all of today because I'm going to yoga at six. So yeah, if you're wondering what this is. I'm here, I'm just waiting on Jade arriving. She's usually yeah, late, it's typical her. Um, so I'm just currently, I've brought up my laptop and I'm just going to be reading whilst um, I wait. I'm also a bit early as well, so I don't blame her for not being here. Yeah. yoga and I'm now heading to Nando's. I'm having a super busy day. I've not eaten one meal in my house. I actually know that's a lie at breakfast. But I'm gonna go to Nando's for dinner to celebrate my boyfriend getting a job offer for when he finishes uni. I'm really proud of him. Um, I just need to find myself a job now. But yeah, waiting on the bus, gonna go to Nando's. So excited. The most exciting thing about Nando's for me is gloomy and unlimited coke. Wait in a Nando's. Boyfriend isn't here yet. Nando's. So excited. Morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. I am up nice and early. Woo, it's bright. I'm up nice and early. I am doing an interview this morning, which is very exciting and very nervous as well. Um, it's just the very early stages of applying for a job when I graduate. So. I'm not getting my hopes up at all because honestly there's like four other rounds to go through after this but it is a company I would absolutely die to work for so we'll just see how it goes I'm gonna try my best I get so nervous in interviews you know I do YouTube all the time I talk to a camera I'm pretty good at just rambling but see when it comes to an interview oh my gosh and talking about myself oh it's so hard <laughs> so so hard anyway I am gonna do that in probably like half an hour it's um something that you do in your own time. And then I need to head to uni today. I've got a two hour kind of um, training thing. Um, it's basically like a class to help you write essays because I'm not very good at writing essays. So I enrolled in a class. That's exciting for you. 
Then I have a meeting with my dissertation advisor at like three o'clock today. So this is the first time I've ever met her and it's been like ages. Everyone else has met their dissertation advisor. I've still not met my one. So um, I'm a bit nervous. I feel like she might expect me to be more prepared than I am because I've had like three weeks. But you know, it'll be good to just kind of see what she's like, see what her vibe is. I hope she's super supportive. I hope she really wants to get involved in my project because that's what I need. I need someone to kind of like kick me up the butt and get me going. But um, we'll see. I'll talk to you guys and let you know how it went. But I'm gonna do my interview pretty soon. That's, I just wanted to kind of fill you in. I didn't finish the vlog yesterday, but I feel like because this is a weekly thing, you just kind of like, you know, if I don't finish it in an evening, then that's fine. But Nando's was really good. Got chicken wings, got halloumi, got mashed potato. Was 10 out of 10. It was very good. Today is Thursday. I didn't really vlog at all yesterday, which I'm sorry about, but like, it just wasn't the most my eyes have gone really watery my interview went like okay it obviously could have been better that you always look back and think of things and you know pick at things that you said or didn't say but after my interview i went into uni and i had a meeting with my dissertation advisor which i will speak about but after that usually on a wednesday my boyfriend and i go to um the cinema which is like a thing we do every week but he has deadlines and was just feeling a bit stressed so didn't go to the cinema so really yesterday was not that interesting and I just didn't feel like filming or bringing out my camera because I just didn't feel like it would be that fun but meeting with my dissertation advisor did go really really well she is so lovely she is fairly young which I quite like because I can really kind of connect with her and the topic which I'm doing is quite a modern topic <clears throat> so it's nice to have somebody who kind of understands basically I'm doing on social media so I don't really want somebody who doesn't even go on social media you know she definitely you know knew who influencers were and when I was chatting she really understood where I was getting at she also mildly hinted that she knew I was a youtuber I don't know if she stalked me or if she just was making a comment and I just took it too far but she made like a comment saying something like oh and you might be an influencer yourself and I was like what like you wouldn't just say that to any normal person, I feel like, unless she's checked me out on my, like LinkedIn or I don't know, I'm not sure. She also made a comment later on being like, I've seen your work, whether I took it at the time as work like my university work, but maybe she meant work like external. I don't know. I'm not sure. Either way, if she stalked me, that's great because she's actually interested in who I am. If she isn't, then she's just... I'm just thinking of things on my head and getting distracted. So today is Thursday and I am being very lazy today. I got up at like nine and it's like 11 now. <laughs> so I am being super lazy. I need to go to uni, I've got a meeting at 12. So I really need to hurry up and get into uni. I really wanted to do some work this morning but um, that didn't work out. Oh well. I was so productive on Monday. I was feeling so good about myself and then the rest of the days have just kind of gone downhill sucks but it's just one of those things. I'm to the university cafe so that's where I'll be for like four hours, then I've got a lecture, then I'm coming home. Woohoo! Isn't my life so exciting? Oh also yesterday I met this lovely girl. I went to kind of a workshop. Her name was Caitlin, same as mine, and she has just started law at Edinburgh. She's in first year from South Africa. She was so lovely so if she happens to be watching then hi it was lovely to meet you. But um yeah, if any of you guys actually go to Edinburgh University, then let me know down in the comments because it'd be really cool to bump into you, you know, whilst I'm going back. I've only got one more year at uni. Bum, bum, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Just realised I haven't done my outfit for today. My outfit today is pretty casual. I've got on this like fluffy crop jumper and I've got just like a vest on underneath so that, you know, if I move people don't see my tummy. And then I've got on these joggers they're not joggers they're like trousers but just super super comfy and super soft these are from i saw it first this is from fashion nova and then i'm gonna put my vans on today so that's my outfit like yeah super casual but i just want to be comfy
Hi everyone, I am back from uni. The time is about seven o'clock, half seven in the evening. Um, I had the most unproductive day at uni ever, but I am now gonna go shopping with my mum and sister to try and get my mum, I'm gonna turn this around, to see if we can find an outfit for my mum for my birthday. This is, my birthday's like a month away, but we are just kind of like getting prepared. If you guys don't know, I'm turning 21 on the 1st of November and I'm having like a party with my friends. So um, that's what we're doing this evening is going shopping for my mum's outfit. We might or might not find one. Um, oh. Morning everyone. Today is Friday and it is like 10 past 10 in the morning. I am having a this always happens every time I start a video. I need to like sneeze. Today I'm having kind of like a, right, I call them life admin days. If anyone knows me, they'll probably have heard me say that phrase before. But basically I am, I've been working on my dissertation. I've been working on my um, other courses all of this week and I feel like I need to sort out other stuff. So today I am not going to uni because I am actually going out tonight and I'm going to this, really cool event basically Edinburgh Castle is turning into a nightclub tonight I managed to get tickets I'm really excited to go but the thing is it starts relatively relatively early so I'm gonna have to start getting ready at maybe four ish which considering it's 10 now by the time I travel to uni do work and travel back I'm basically wasting um, nearly two hours worth of just traveling when I could be working so I've decided to come to stay at home today I'm not wearing any makeup because I'm not seeing anyone so you're just gonna have to put up with this face nothing really has happened in this vlog like I feel like I've just I've just gone back and forward to uni and just told you what I've done each day um but I guess that is my life right now it's quite boring but it needs to be done. Right, I'm gonna get on. Today, I'm just like, outfit wise, I'm wearing this top, which is actually from uh, Zara Men's. It's like, it's got an atlas kind of printed in black and white on it. And then I'm just wearing blue jeans. That's all I'm wearing. Like, it's such a casual day, no effort day. I'll talk to you guys later, bye. <laughs> Post came and I've got a package to open. I think I know what this is, but I'm gonna open it. <clears throat> I did my nails whilst I was revising. This is something which I do all the time because if I like do my nails and then I I'm revising then I don't touch anything else because I can't really do much with my hands it like kind of makes sense but it's also procrastination but becomes a problem when you're trying to open a package um for yeah anyway right sorry it's freezing in my house today as well I put this jumper on and I'm still so so cold so let's try open this without ruining my um nails that would just be annoying. So this is either my dress for my birthday or, no it's not, it's a PR package. So these are both from Femlux. I'll probably end up hauling these as well. They'll be in a haul somewhere, like maybe in a week or so. But um, I have, oh this is, <laughs> this is so exciting. Two jumpers, one, they were both described as mustard. You can see the colour difference, definitely not both mustard. This one is a bright orange jumper, knit jumper, and this one is, uh, it's got like two or three of these stripes on it, but it's mainly this colour, and it's a jumper as well. This one is like an off-the-shoulder bardo jumper, which I've not ever tried. Might, like, it seems a bit of a weird idea because I feel like jumpers, they're meant to keep you warm, so why would you want a bardo style on top but I thought it was kind of interesting and I quite liked the colour scheme and this is just like the coolest colour of orange this is orange to me not mustard um might change into one of these actually because I'm freezing I'm so cold yeah these are both from Femlux Femlux is this like brand here so yeah if you want to check them out they are a really cool brand Excited for this one in particular, just because it's such a fun colour. Hey everyone, just popping on to finish off this vlog. Sorry for the kind of abrupt ending. I hope I will get better at these kind of vlogs. I'm really bad at just taking my camera out to wherever I go and just showing you guys what I'm doing. I'm really sorry. But I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if there's any like, you know, 
points for improvement for the future. I'm sure there is loads. But um, yeah, thanks for watching this far and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!